Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Sagittarius. If you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment and share the content if that's what you feel like doing. I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private reading specific to you, please visit kttarot.com. So let's take a look, Sagittarius, at your week ahead, calling in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy for Sagittarius, please. Guidance spirit for Sagittarius for the week ahead. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. If you have a question that you would like answered or to receive some guidance on anything that's happening in your life, Sagittarius, I might like to focus on that now while I am shuffling and dealing the cards for you. And also take extra notice of the images on the cards and the writing on the cards as they often depict the answers that you are seeking or show the answers that you are needing at this time. Guidance for Sagittarius, please. Guidance for Sagittarius, please. Guidance for Sagittarius. Your energy, Sagittarius, and the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. We have love and fear. We have love and fear. Okay, so what I'm receiving from Spirit is that there is a message coming your way, a message that you have been waiting for. Some kind of communication is coming your way, Sagittarius. You may be fearing this or you may um, be hesitant about this. There is some uh, fear associated to it somehow. Um, perhaps you're waiting on a decision. Um, it could be for work, for example. It may be that you are, you've interviewed for a job, you're waiting to hear back whether, you, whether you've got it or not. So there's that underlying fear and uncertainty. Spirit does not want you to be in fear. Okay, love is the answer. Bring love and that vibration, that whole vibration into your heart and into your life. They do not want you to be in this energy of fear. The message that you have been waiting for may actually be about love, romantic or otherwise. So love may actually be in terms of, um, um, in terms of something you have been waiting for. That, that really stirs your heart, really stirs your emotions, is you're passionate about this cause or um, this uh, situation, okay? So it's stirring that love and you're feeling that and ultimately you receive a very positive response back. So there's a really lovely energy of uh, alleviating and moving from that fear vibration into love. It says on this card, love and fear cannot exist in the same space or at the same time as they are very different vibrations if you're feeling fear imagine breathing in green or pink light and feel any fear or lower energies transforming into love now you are fully present and in a vibration of love you feel safe knowing exactly what to do in any circumstance or situation this is now your reality say to yourself i trust i am a channel of love and wisdom my higher self will guide me at all times and in all situations. Now that I know this, I can relax, have fun and live my life present in each moment. So really Spirit is saying letting go of that energy of fear and bringing that love in. Beautiful. This can also mean for some people this will be an offer of love coming your way or an offer that to you love. Okay. Yes. Surrender to creativity. Let your imagination uh, soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. So creativity is around you. I love this energy, whether it's artistic creativity or otherwise thinking outside the box in some way, in a logical way, still using your creativity as well in the mix somehow. So very empowering energy here. I feel you're going to get the best results um, if you harness your creativity in some way, shape or form. 
So very important, powerful energy coming into play. You may find that letting your imagination go a little bit and just going into that dreamscape, going to help bring through that creativity. So open to that energy. Beautiful. Valiant courage. Take action with passion. Yes. And that's what this is. Very much tied to the love and fear energy. Um, taking action with passion. You know, turning that fear around and marching um, into um, into a situation with courage. I love it. I love it. So you'll be harnessing this energy. You will have courage. You will have success. Um, there is going to be some action that you will need to take this week where you're going to have to um, pull up some courage. You will have to move into perhaps unknown or uncharted waters or territory. But you're going to take up the reins and you're going to move forward with passion. So I love that energy for you. Oh, this is beautiful. Divine guidance. You have divine guidance coming through down all around you. You can draw this down even more if you want to focus in on it, have your intention on it, pray on it, meditate on the divine guidance that is around you. It may come through with signs and symbols that are specific to you from spirit or your guides if you have communication with them already. There's going to be some strong... Um, yeah, strong communication here. Divine guidance is all around you this week. You're going to see it more and more. Beautiful. The two of cups, love energy. Yes, you're definitely moving into that love vibration. Um, this can also mean a choice of the heart. So your heart is um, confused or, or perhaps it's not confused. For some of you, it will be um, a choice about love or about something that is tugging at your heartstrings. There is a choice here. You will make the right choice with this divine guidance. So this is listening to your intuition, listening to your heart. Beautiful. Coming closer together with your heart's desire. Yeah, um, this message that, that you've been waiting for. Well, this prayer that's going to be answered, um, yes, it's coming through. It's flowing through into your life with divine abundance, divine blessings. Beautiful. There is worry, of course, the five of uh, pentacles. This can mean worry on an earthly level. So the worry about finances, job, um, anything physical going on in your life. There is a strong sense here of you turning things around or, you know, even with this, yes, this divine guidance will help you turn things around. Uh, see what you have around you, make it work for you. But there is an offer or some kind of good news or a message you've been waiting for, which will uplift this vibration of uncertainty when it comes to physical things. The three of wands, waiting for your the time to be right. That's the message I'm receiving from spirit. Waiting for your time to be right or the time to be right to take action. Might not be just yet, perhaps, um, but you will know when the right time is to take action. You will have the courage to do that and take action with passion, as this card says here. Three of wands, um, I'm seeing this as you having put in work and dedication you having focused on someone or something and waiting for that energy to return to you the princess of cups this is the page of cups you may be dealing with or have in your life in a significant way this week a child youth or someone younger than you the princess of cups is about joy and letting joy into your heart it can be looking at your inner child um and looking at and and feeling out and, and looking at what's going on there whether it need, there's healing that needs to take place or just opening up to joy creativity and play very important as well um, so i love that that's going to bring some creativity through some changes in some way in your life in a positive way and we have the high priestess beautiful trusting your intuition this week is very very important there is a veil that has been put up around you or around others. Perhaps information has not been flowing through to you. And that's why I'm getting that sense that a message communication that you have been waiting for, perhaps for some time, will come through to you this week or coming in very soon for you. 
The High Priestess is about uh, your psychic ability as well. So if you are interested in that development, this week is a great time to pursue it. Um, going within and having that inner knowledge. Yeah, the inner knowledge and the wisdom of your inner self is going to come out to play in a big way. That's part of the divine guidance. I love it. Beautiful energy coming through for you. Beautiful energy. So I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I will talk to you all again soon.